Shalom. Kohalo, Yahweh Bashalom, Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Badash. The honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers that are doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. All right, this is a video playing in the background. Um, and it's it's called it's on a channel called Love Allah, all right, which is the improper name of the Most High Power. Allah just means power. That's all it means. It's a Hebrew word, which means power. All right, or God. God means power. It's not a name. It's a title. Just like uh, just like uh, Yahweh, uh, not Yahweh Shai, but Hamashiach, uh, or you know, or the the Anointed. All right, those are titles. Yahweh Shai is his actual name. So it's Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai is the name of the Father and the Son. Uh, so first and foremost, let me give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the uh, my fellow laborers that are doing this work. To the confusion of face Akim that are joining to our ranks, the hopefully let the Akwaf that are listening and learning. Um, this video is a this person's rendition of what's going to happen when the destruction comes, and uh, so we're just gonna let that play in the background. But I'm just gonna go into uh, some precepts. It's been a while since I, I had a series that I did called Precept Upon Precept, and they were short to the point. You know, the, when you go to the book of uh, Isaiah, the 28th chapter, it tells you that you to, are to read precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. So I'm going to continue that in that faction with the book of Baruch. In uh, Baruch, that was the actual... Uh, chapter of the day which my uh the co my uh co-elder <coughs> here in chicago prescribed to the uh to the camp and as i read it <clears throat> it's actually one of my favorite chapters and i have a ton and ton of precepts so i decided i'm going to read through this book <clears throat> and uh and give out precept upon precept so i'm going to read first the first four chapters i mean the first four verses and then and along with those four verses i am going to uh, uh read precepts to go along with them all right so this is baruch 4 and 1 it says this is the book of the commandments of power and the law that endureth forever all that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. All right, so let's go to my first precept. Which is going to be in numbers. There we go. Numbers 1. And. Uh, I'm not numbers. But Joshua. Salakia. One and eight. Joshua one and eight. And it reads. This book of the law. Shall not depart out of thy mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. That thou mayest observe it. To do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. And that's why all this destruction you see on the screen is happening. Because people turn to other books, the Talmud, the Quran, the Book of the Dead, all these different books, you know, which have nothing to do with the Bible. They're keeping the waves of something else. Verse number two, turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. It said, turn thee, O Jacob. All right, why? Because Jacob has fallen away from their power and their laws. 
and the laws are not to be found in the Talmud. All right, they're to be found in the Holy Scriptures. This is Psalms 148 of 147 and verse 19 and 20. And it reads, He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. For as for his judgment, they have not known them. Praise ye, Yahweh. All right, the other nations have not known the judgments or the laws. They were not given to anyone else. So these false Christian sects and these churches that say salvation is for all, it tells you in Matthew 10, 5, and 6, the salvation is, is unto Israel. It has nothing to do with the other nations. All the other nations will, put, will be put under subjection upon the return of the Lord and the salvation of the Israelites. Point blank, period. That's what the Bible says. That's what's got these Edomites in such an uproar. All right? Not terrorist acts like they're the only ones that commit those. Remember, it's January 2019 and there's been 27 mass shootings all done by Edomites, so-called white men. All right? When Don Lemon said that they're the true threat in America, they are. But it's funny how that's not the, the, the stories that are recurring over and over again in the mainstream media. All right, everything opposite of that. R. Kelly, the Hebrew Israelites, everything except that. All right, especially what's going on down in Venezuela. You know, with uh, with the president of Venezuela outright accusing Donald Trump of, of giving an order to stage a coup. All right, and how all the nations are, 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 are forming uh, lines, you know, posed for combat to... to uh, uh, for World War III as a result of, of these actions which have been taking place on the earth, man. There is going to be a visitation. Verse 3 in Baruch, for, uh, the fourth chapter. Give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. It's not for other people. Right? Now you can understand why the the uh, Bible destruction book removed the Apocrypha from the Bible in the 1800s. All right. Uh, they started in the 1700s and they finally got it removed because you couldn't teach the false uh, white superiority based plantation colonialism Christianity with the Apocrypha in place. Couldn't do it. They had to remove it couldn't teach virgin birth you couldn't keep teach god loves everyone because the apocrypha makes it <clears throat> a crystal crystal clear that the lord is only for israel and not for the other nations this is joel 2 and 27 and it reads and ye shall know that i am in the midst of israel and that i am the yahweh your power and none else and my people shall never be ashamed so it had nothing to do with the other nations, the other races, man. Baruch, verse number four, last verse. O Israel, happy are we, for things that are pleasing unto power are made known unto us. All right? What does it say in the book of Amos? Let's go see. This is Amos. 3 and 7. And it reads, Surely Yahweh power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And the prophets are back. And all the prophets were what? They were all Israelites. Every one of them. And it's only revealed to them, which means they're back. All right? We'll give one bonus. This is Romans 8. And 16. And it reads. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of power. So only I think that's a damn commercial. So only. The prophets of the Lord are going to receive the understanding of these scriptures. You can't get it from a seminary school or college. Call Halal Yahweh by Shalom Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash Wa Ababa Ball.